Vermonters have worked hard to apply these key steps to minimizing COVID-19 infection. Vermonters have worn their masks when close to others, kept physically distant, minimized multiple family gatherings, and washed their hands frequently. This is called defense in depth. This video is about one important addition to these defenses, improving our indoor air quality. This is important because scientists have gathered a lot of evidence that the smallest of COVID particles we exhale can linger in the air for extensive periods of time and travel beyond typical physical distancing when we are inside. This source of infection is the worst when there are too many people in the space, when there is too little fresh outside air ventilating the indoor space, especially in winter when we close up spaces to protect ourselves from the cold. Besides reinforcing the other barriers in our in-depth approach, there are different things we can do to help improve indoor air quality in the winter. First, keep the number of people in a room to the lowest amount you can and always below the maximums established by executive orders. If you have extra people over, open the windows a little, preferably at either end of a room and turn up the heat while they're there. Running the bathroom fan that vents direct to the outside also helps. If you can, verify success by measuring the carbon dioxide levels in the air, the best indicator of fresh indoor air. The goal are CO2 values closest to the numbers for clean outside air, about 460 in Vermont and no more than 800, which is the boundary between good and poor air. Second, if you're able, you can get a HEPA filtered air purifier for rooms with poor ventilation. HEPA stands for high efficiency particulate air and HEPA filter removes as much as 99% of the coronavirus sized particles when used properly. If you can get out and enjoy more outdoor fresh air. Whenever you are around other people, especially indoors or when people are close, wear a high quality mask. When you are indoors, seek uncrowded times and places. Spring will come soon, but these things will help us get through the winter.